Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification. We are in chapter three talking about the reviews and continuing to the last segment of this particular chapter that is 3.5, Managing Formal Reviews. As a part of this tutorial, we are actually going to understand more from the manager perspective that how do you manage conduction of certain formal reviews and what exactly you need to take care of while conducting. But these are different from the planning point of view or selecting a matrices or organizing and conducting, rather taking decisions at certain point of time to be uh, considered while conducting or organizing a particular review process. And here we will see what happens in case you find a environment or scenario where uh, conducting a review process is not feasible or sometimes you do have constraints and uh, you realize that the review cannot be organized and conducted, then what do you do in that scenario is what we will be understanding as a part of this tutorial. So in the ISTKB Foundation syllabus, uh, of course, we have already understood about the formal review process, which includes a standard phase set of uh, like conducting planning, kickoff, individual preparation, review meeting, rework, and follow-up. And uh, to correctly implement the formal review processes, the review leader needs to ensure that all the steps in the review processes are followed. That means conducting a formal review requires you to make sure that all the stages are well organized and conducted the way it is supposed to be conducted. And for that requires a great mentorship from the leader of the team in order to give them a quick training, in fact, to let them know that how a formal review should be organized and conducted. And at the same time, uh, you know, letting them know what exactly the review process is so that every reviewer is a great contributor to your review process in order to add the success rate of the review itself. Now, further to add, you know, review, review, uh, formal review have a number of characteristics such as defined entry and exit criteria, checklist to be used by the reviewers, deliverables such as reports, which is a review report prepared by the scribe, evaluation sheets or any other review summary sheets, matrices for reporting on the review effectiveness, efficiency and progress. Now, of course, these points have been already discussed in the foundation level, but at the advanced level, we're just keeping a quick reminder that should not forget that what exactly uniqueness of a formal review process is when compared to the other types of review which we conduct like informal, walkthrough and technical reviews. So these are the unique points to be observed during a formal review that is inspection. Now prior to in initiating a formal review process, fulfillment of the review prerequisite that is as defined in the procedure or in the list of entry criteria should be confirmed by the review leader that would be the test manager as well. So making sure that the entry criteria is well established and before getting started with the review process, making sure that entry criteria is fulfilled and met, then only getting into the process for an effective beginning of the review process in case what happens if the entry criteria is not met. To understand that, that what exactly can happen uh, if in case the entry criteria is not met. So if the prerequisite conditions for the formal review are not fulfilled, the review leader may propose one of the following to the review authority for final decisions. That is either redefining the review with revised objectives. That means probably this was not the right time to do that or this was not the uh, perfect uh, prerequisite which were met required in terms of like matrices available or the document is unavailable or the people are unavailable or probably we do not have enough time to conduct that or uh, people have a better commitments or more important or prior commitments to be um, done at that point of time so you can redefine the review or redefinition of the review with revised objectives and organize it well again or you can take necessary corrective actions to uh, optimize the review to further proceed it at any point of time. This can even be done uh, during the review when you observe certain matrices or showcases that review is getting deviated from the plan. Then you can always take a control action being a test manager to add more value to it or align it back to the planned uh, schedule. And uh, also to a certain extent, we do have an option to postpone a review process depending on the availability of in, uh, a documentation which is under the review in, itself or availability of the reviewers on that particular day for the review. So you can always plan accordingly and see that whether the reviewers will be available at that point of time to participate and effectively contribute. And if in case these things are not met, you better prefer to uh, postpone the review to certain other days and then conduct it. 
Finally, as part of controlling a formal review process, these reviews are monitored in the context of overall program and are associated with project quality assurance activities. Control of formal reviews includes feedback information using product and process matrices. So of course, we have learned a lot about the product and process matrices in the previous topic. You can quickly check there. And of course, a leader is responsible for making sure that you monitor it consistently. While you monitor, then only you can decide if a control action is required or mandatory to be implemented in order to get back to the schedule or improve the efficiency of the review process at any point of time. Well, that was all we wanted to cover as a part of this particular tutorial. Should you have any other questions with you or doubts and clarification, feel free to drop them below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.